Hi friends, this is Anna Hellman with Scrapping, Stamping and Stuff. And I'm excited today to introduce you to our new mini cut and emboss machine. We have been waiting for this for so long and I'm really excited that I finally have it here. I've been playing around with it and I've put together a lot of information to share with you today to help you learn all about it, how to use it, the features of it and the benefits, and hopefully to help you decide if this is something that has a place in your crafting collection or not. So first of all, what is the mini cut and emboss machine? This is a machine that will allow you to die cut pieces such as these ferns on this card, these poinsettias on this card using thin metal dies. Now these are different shapes here, but uh, thin metal dies such as this. And you can also emboss and give your paper a raised texture such as on this card with the snowflakes and on this card with the raised print, the raised scripty print on this one. So these are two techniques, die cutting and embossing are two techniques that really add so much to your projects and they're things that you just can't really do by hand. So when you invest in a machine like this, you're gonna be able to take your projects to a whole new level than you were able to do before. So let's talk about some of the features of this machine. Show you some of the features and then I'll, we'll compare it to our larger machine to give you a feel for what this is like compared to our larger one. So this is the machine. It comes all folded up, but then the sides fold down, and this is how it will need to be used just like this. So the fold-up sides are really nice. It allows it to take up less space when you are storing it, uh, less space in your crafting area, and it makes it really nice to travel with. So that is one of the features. Actually, while it's folded up, I'll flip it over and show you the bottom. It does have these anti-skid feet, which are really nice. It has solid steel construction, meaning that the guts of the machine are going to hold up for a long, long time. And you'll be able to die cut and emboss just as well years from now as you can the day you receive this machine. In addition, it comes with all of the plates that you need. So it's gonna come with a base plate, number one, two cutting plates, which are clear, and then two different embossing folder plates. So plate three is used with standard embossing folders, which are the thinner ones. Plate four is used with 3D embossing folders or the thicker ones. In addition, as you can tell, it just has a really pretty, nice, sleek appearance. So that is a nice benefit as well. If you don't have a place to store this away, it's gonna look really nice in your craft area. Okay, so let's talk about how large this machine is. I am going to attempt to show you my larger one right now to give you an idea of how big it is compared to the other one. So here I'm gonna slide in the bigger one. And here we have the smaller one. I can give you some measurements here to compare the two. When the mini machine is opened up and ready for use with the sides folded down. It measures seven inches wide this direction plus the three inch handle. It measures about ten and a half inches long and about six or probably about six inches tall. I didn't check that exactly but that's my guess. Now when it is folded up it's only going to measure about four and a half inches this direction instead of the ten and a half when it's opened up. And to give you an idea of weight, it only measures, I'm sorry, it only weighs 2.7 pounds. So it's really easy to pick this up, move it around on your work surface, and take it with you if you are going somewhere to craft. So it's also important to talk about the size of the platforms, the plates that go through, and the size that you'll be able to use for die cutting and embossing. So the size of these plates are three and a half inches wide by seven inches long. And the width, the maximum width for die cutting or embossing is going to be about three and three eighths inches. So you can use dies up to three and three eighths inches wide. Same thing with embossing folders. 
So which dies and embossing folders can you use? I'm gonna pull the Stampin' Up! catalog in here. This is page 171 in our annual catalog, or 2020 and 2021 annual catalog. And I wanted to show you right here, this is the mini machine logo that you're going to wanna look for to know if you're going to be able to use those products with the mini machine instead of our larger machine. So I flip over here and you will be able to see, this is on page 173, all the things fabulous bundle. You see this one has that mini machine logo. That means all of these dies are going to fit through the mini machine and work in this machine. The wreath builder one here does not have the mini machine logo. That means this one will not fit through the mini machine. So you can look through our die collection and see quite a few of our sets are compatible with the mini machine. And then same thing with our embossing folders. You can look on this page and see the smaller ones that are available that can be used in this machine. So let's talk about why you might wanna get this machine. Here in just a couple of minutes, I'm gonna show you how to use it. If you're new to die cutting and embossing, I'll show you exactly how to use it. But why might you wanna get this one? And I'm gonna break this down into why might you wanna get it instead of a bigger standard machine and also why you might wanna get it in addition to the larger machine. So why you might wanna get this instead of a larger machine. One is the cost. The cost of this is half of that of the larger machine. This one costs $60, the larger machine costs 120. So it's a really great way if you want to get into die cutting and embossing without the investment of a $120 machine, this is a great way to get started. It also saves space if you have a really small area to do your crafting in. This is great for saving space and it's travel friendly. So it's nice to be able to take it with you places and it's lightweight and it's doesn't take up very much space at all. Now, why might you want one of these in addition to a larger machine? Many of you out there who are gonna be watching already have a larger machine. Why might you want this in addition to a larger machine? Well, one I already mentioned is the travel friendly uh, ability of this machine. If you're going somewhere to craft and you don't need your large dies, this is so much easier to take along with you. In addition to that, it is just easier to manage when, I don't know about you, but I pick up and move my die cutting machine a lot on my work surface. I always have things everywhere. I'm picking up and moving things to any spot I can see that's bare where I have some room. So this one is just a lot easier to manage. It doesn't weigh much. It's easier to crank. So I may even use this one here at home, even when my big machine is really close by, just because it's a little bit easier to manage. And in addition to that, uh, let's say you are doing a big project, making a bunch of Christmas cards or something where you're doing a lot of die cutting or embossing. If you have a large machine and a smaller one, you can round up a helper and be working on two machines at one time. I know a lot of times I have projects going on where I need help of my children, sometimes my husband, sometimes my crafting friends, and this will be really nice to have another machine here and I can put somebody else to work on this one while I work on the bigger one or vice versa. So let's talk about how to use this. Using it is very similar to a standard machine, but the alignment of the plates is just slightly different. But I'll show you these three plates here. What is the same as with our larger standard machine is the plates have diagrams and numbering to make it really easy to figure out which ones you need to put through the machine at any given time. So plate one explains to use with thin dies. So for die cutting, we are going to use plate one, plate two, paper and a die, and the next plate two. So let's go ahead and crank this through you're gonna line all of this up, make sure it's even all the way around the edges, push it into the machine and make sure it's straight. Start to crank and when it starts, and that's not going in straight, so I need to try that again. So when it is starting to go in, now I'm going to grab 
the top of the machine with my other hand. Crank, crank, crank till we get it all the way through. And I just love how easy this one is to use. Now we can remove this. And this is one of the dies from our Ornate Borders die set. And let's see if I can get this out. This is a very delicate one. But here we go. If I put that against the white, maybe you can see it a little bit better. But look how well that cut that piece out. It cut it perfectly and it's, it's just beautiful and it was very easy to crank. So that's how you do the die cutting. I'll explain embossing really quickly. So here's plates three and four that explain embossing. So plate three is for standard embossing folders. If you have not seen an embossing folder before, this is what they look like. They're plastic and they open up in the center to insert your paper. Then you close it up and you're gonna sandwich it with these plates. So for a standard embossing folder, the thinner ones, you're gonna have plate one, your embossing folder with the paper in the center of it, and then plate three, and you're going to crank that through your machine just like you did with the dies. Then if you have three 3D embossing folders, you're gonna have plate one, your embossing folder, and then plate four and crank that through. And you will get these beautifully embossed images such as this stitching or uh, writing, I should say, on this one. So that is how to use the machine. Hopefully this has answered a lot of your questions. So this machine is going to be available for the general public to order on January 5th, 2021. Anyone who has signed up with Stampin' Up! or signs up now can include this in your starter kit or you can purchase your starter kit and then order this at demonstrator discount after you are signed up. So if you're interested in that option, I would love to welcome you to my team and talk about that more. And you'll be able to get the Stampin' Up! discount from then on with your products. Uh, so let me know if you're interested in that. If not, general ordering begins on January 5th. And I did mention the cost of this machine is $60. If you're interested in saving money on it, the first option is to sign up with Stampin' Up! on my team. And the other option is when you order through me, I have a rewards program. And if you use my current host code on your orders, I will send you a free gift as well. So thank you for listening. I hope this really helped you learn a lot about the mini machine. I think it's a great investment. It is so, so cute and adorable. And if you have any questions at all, please let me know. You can get more ideas and inspiration on my blog at scrappingstampingandstuff.com. I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope to see you again next time.